zero in on Carolina is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. For Carolina football, I'm Taylor Vipolis. Today I'm joined by D-line member, Naj Jones. Yes, sir. This is your fourth year on campus. How have you seen yourself grow as a player? Uh, as a player, first of all, I've gained like 50 pounds <laughs> since <laughs> I've been here. Um, I came in as a, a kid, 255, now I'm like 310. So I think mostly it's just been taking on that power that comes with the weight and, um, you know, starting to take on double teams more better instead of being like an edge rusher like I was when I first got here. From a nutrition standpoint, how do you even gain 40 pounds? <laughs> a lot of eating, <laughs> I promise you. Um, but I think the nutritionist does a great job of uh, getting us good meals and, you know, a lot of the, the different systems that they have with the green dots and red dots. Um, I think it's just over the years, I've just done a great job of getting a good meal every three meals a day. You're one of the leaders on this team now, definitely one on defense. Who did you look to when you were just a freshman on campus? When I was a freshman, I, I would definitely say uh, Tim and Kareem. Um, they were, you know, the the two D linemen that we uh, everybody looked up to. And I always wanted to always try to model my game after them and learn from them from their mistakes and things like that. Um, but yeah, definitely those two. With a lot of injuries this year, you've had to step up and play a ton of snaps. And Coach Fedora said that Virginia Tech was your best game to this point. What went so well in that game for you? Um, I just I'm, I'm not really sure, but I just know that I had to step up big time because a lot of things weren't going our way. So um, I just really tried to try to enforce my will on the game and make as many plays as I could, uh, especially the game, the, the plays that came to me and, you know, trying not to do too much, but, you know, just handle my own. From a team perspective, obviously the game didn't go the way we wanted, but what's the mood of the team like and how do you rebound from a game like that? Um, the whole thing is just going back to preparing and not trying to change anything just because we lost. Um, I think we'll do a great job of preparing the same way, just as hard uh, this upcoming week as we did last week and just try to win a road game on, um, in the ACC because they're pretty hard to come by. And the, the, These teams that we have in the ACC, they, they can be iffy sometimes, so you never know which team you're going to get. Most fans, they just see the end result of a play, but how physical is it in the trench out there on the field? I don't I don't know if words could describe it. I mean, it's it's just a war. That's it's just straight out war and it's it's just a physical fight every single play. Especially as a D lineman, an interior lineman especially you getting double teamed and you got guys hitting you one way and they going the other way. It's it's ridiculous, but um our coaches do a great job of preparing us um, for anything that we can kind of see in the game. With you you're uh, always carrying around that chain. And I was just kind of wondering, what's the backstory to that? So the chain is something that Coach, uh, Coach Scott uh, brung in when he came in this, this, this past season. Um, really is just what he calls the burden of responsibility. And that's just um, me being the leader of the defensive line, knowing that you know I got all these guys dependent on me and, and us as a, as a group, we have to be strong links and one of the same, and we have to work together. And uh, nobody can be a weak link in that in that situation, especially on the field, and even in the classroom, and, and when it comes to study hall and all that kind of things. Anything that could affect us on the field, uh, we can't be a weak link, and we got to get a job done. You've had multiple position coaches, multiple defensive coordinators. How have you seen the defense evolve since Coach Chizik and Coach Scott have taken over? I think the biggest thing would be just everybody's more accountable than they were before. I think uh, Coach Chiz. His main thing when he came in was everybody being accountable. And um, we always have accountability meetings, you know, if not once a week about, you know, if you're doing your job and, and, and if you're not doing your job, why aren't you doing your job? And, and I promise getting asked that question by Coach Chiz is, uh, is pretty nerve wracking and there is no right answer. So, um, you know, that's, that's just one thing where he keeps everybody accountable and everybody has to do their job. You've been with Coach Fedora for four of his five years at uh, Carolina. How have you seen him and your senior class kind of establish um, like a standard for this program? I think we've done a great job of setting a standard, especially as guys, as we've gotten older, we've gotten better over the years, and especially with the year we had last year. Um, I think that was definitely the standard of how we should play football here at Carolina from now on. And, um, you know, I think, you know, us being his first recruiting class, I think we did a great job of setting that standard.